Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Revoice in Reaper. Now, Revoice is a plugin that comes with Reaper, and it's a MIDI controlled multi voice pitch shifter. So, you can control it with a keyboard and affect the pitch shifting that's happening. And it can be used on anything. In this video, we're going to use it on vocals. So, we have a vocal track here, and let's see what it sounds like. And let's put the plug in on that vocal track. We'll go to the track effects and go down here to the built in plugins and choose Revoice. And it starts off completely wet. So we're only going to hear the effect, not the dry sound. But if we play it now, we don't hear anything. That's because a MIDI key has to be hit in order to trigger this. Otherwise, it's muted. So let's make a new track over here, name it MIDI. And we'll send the routing from this track to this track. Now we don't need the audio, so let's set this to none, but it's still going to send MIDI right here on all channels to all channels, which we can set up over here. MIDI channel is set to zero, so it's going to receive on any MIDI channel. So we'll leave it like that. So let's set the input on this track to be MIDI. Go into record, and here's my MIDI keyboard down here. So by default, if I play C4 on that keyboard, we're not going to hear any pitch shift. Check it out. It sounds exactly the same because I'm holding down C4 on the keyboard, which is our center note. But if I play higher, like a D4. It pitch shifts up a whole step. Or if we go down to a B flat. It pitch shifts down a whole step. Now it's important to note the notes that we're playing on the keyboard are just relative to the vocal track. We're not actually choosing those notes. So when I play a B flat, the singer's not going to sing a B flat. It's just going to pitch shift by the distance from our C4. So with B flat, it would be down a whole step from the original notes pitch. Now, because we can hit a key and have it turn on and off, we could use this plugin as a gate to create effects like this. And we could use the attack and the release to affect that. If we want the attack to be quicker and the release to be quicker, we can create a more obvious stutter effect. And we could add filters on top of this to create a more interesting effect. Let's go to my effects chain right here. Let's add a low pass filter with parametric modulation. Which will sound like this. But keep in mind, we're not doing any pitch shifting at this point. We're just using it as a gate because I'm still hitting C4. If I play different notes, we'll hear some pitch shifting. But for now, let's turn this off. Now, if we want to bring in the dry sound, we could do it here. And then we can hear pitch shifting on top of the dry sound. So if I play an E, we created a harmony. In this case, an upper third. Or we could bring down the dry sound and change our voices to two voices and create the same effect by playing the C and the E. But doing it this way, 
We could change both notes. And we can add an extra voice to create a three-part harmony, like this. Or four. Or we could change the chords to create a whole new part. And to make it sound more subtle, let's put the attack and the release back to the default. And down over here, we can change the pitch shift mode from the default to sound touch, which changes the algorithm. Or this one. Or you can combine it to create chords and a stutter effect. Let's put this back to default, change the attack and the release to be quicker, and create things like this. So that's pretty much it. That's Revoice. It's a MIDI controlled multi voice pitch shifter that's included in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.